Welcome to Baseball Pro's video analysis. Here we have Rafael Palmero, 3,000 plus hits, over 500 home runs. Uh, one of the best hitters of the modern era. This is in a spring training, late spring training session of 2005. Uh, first thing we're talking about in Rafi is his stance. Uh, very balanced stance, very good athletic position. Uh, hitting a baseball is a, an aggressive athletic movement, and you want to be in a very in a position where where you can be very aggressive uh, and very athletic at the same time. Uh, there's no perfect way to stand, um, but you want to be in a position where you're very aggressive and athletic, and, and Rafael Palmeiro is, uh, and so are most major league hitters. Uh, if you watch him, he's going to load, he's going to start back. Um, he's moving his weight back. Every athletic movement, whether it be bowling, uh, tennis, golf, football, there's a weight shift. Whenever you throw or hit a ball, there's a weight shift back, and then there's a weight shift forward. There's the weight shift back, there's the weight shift forward. Now we're going to go back and slow all this down, but that's very important. Uh, it's, it's highly overlooked in the, in the day and age of the aluminum bat. Um, now, back in, some people won't recognize this name, but Charlie Lau had a very extreme late sh uh, weight shift that he taught. Uh, I'm not uh, saying that Every young hitter in America needs to have a huge weight shift, but everybody needs to have at least a small one. And so uh, we're watching one of the best hitters of all time. We're going to watch him shift his weight back. There he goes. He's loaded, and he's w w he's trying to achieve what we call separation or stride separation at this point right here where his hands are separated from his front foot. His body, this distance right here we call stride separation. We want it, we're loading our hands we're loading our hips to be able to fire into the baseball. We want to keep our front side square to home plate as best we can, keep our feet square to home plate. So we're allowing the ball to travel, 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 and then we're looking for a contact point somewhere in here, depending on the pitch and speed and location of where it's coming. Um, if you watch Rafi here, he's staying nice and square. And uh, before we go to a swing, I want to stress one point. Most swings are lost in the first four inches. Now, if you watch this couple swings we're going to analyze here, Rafi's first four inches are right down to the ball. Your hands go right down to the ball. Now, watch. He's going to hit this ball into the upper deck, and he's going to have a little nice little loop in his swing here at the end, a nice little upswing. And he drives that ball outstanding. However, his first movement was down, down, down. A lot of hitters are trying to lift the ball when they hit. And so when that happens, when they're in this square movement instead of taking in square position, instead of taking the hands down this way right at the ball, they want to lift the front shoulder out that way, the hands drop this way. Now we're we're swinging underneath the ball and miss hitting it. But this ball was hit a long way in the air and watch the first 4 inches of his hands right down to the ball. The front side is blocked off. The back side is driving through. The top hand is delivering the barrel to the ball. And again, that, that space from right here to right here is, is where all the action happens. If a, if a pitcher's got good stuff and good movement, good velocity, good break, he's going to beat you to this spot. If you got good bat speed and your head and eyes stay on the ball and your front side is blocked and you don't pull off, then you got a good chance to beat him to the spot. And that's what hitters are working on in batting practice, especially major league hitters. Beating that pitcher to the spot consistently. If you look at these mechanics, he's posted up against that front foot. He is blocked and released so much energy from his back side that his, his back foot has come off the ground. Again, his head hasn't moved and that's what, what's called extension right here where he's extended with his arms and his bat about five feet combined in front of his body. That's how we get the ball to fly over people's head. Now we don't want to get extension too early. Extension has to happen after contact. I'm short to the ball. My first four inches of the, of the plane of my swing are right down with my hands in a, in a nice path to the ball. I'm behind the ball. My hands are inside the ball. Boom, contact. Boom, extend through the ball and then finish high and watch that ball go into the upper deck. And we're going to take you through another swing of Rafi. 
Uh, I think he hit that one a long way. He, he's taking a peek at it. I think he liked it a little bit. I don't blame him. Uh, again, good rhythm in his stance. And if you watch his swings, they're they're very consistent. His mechanics are very consistent. Again, weight transfer back. He had a little double tap at his swing where he tapped once and then he had his stride or took his stride to get to that stride separation. From there, good athletic, aggressive position. He's ready to attack something. From there, first four inches of my swing, my hands go down to the ball. My hips start to drive. My front side locks. I continue to drive against that firm front side again to that nice big box out in front of home plate in the strike zone my head is down my head is not moving I'm driving to the ball through the ball to get to five feet of extension back foot has come off the ground because I've released uh, so much energy into the ball and again another swing in the upper deck mind you that's a different swing than you just saw but yet it looked exactly the same and the key the key when you guys are developing and working as hitters is not to try to hit the ball 100 miles. It's try to hit the ball on a line consistently repeating good swings. If you watch his swings, all these swings and all these mechanics are all the same. He's able to repeat them every time. He's back, he's square, aggressive athletic, the hands go down first four inches, right to the ball, there's extension, there's the back side. He spun off that one just a little bit but yet he's still driving it and he's still repeating good mechanics almost every time alright now we're gonna watch one more again weight shift back let's go back to that that's very important every time you swing you need to load load your hands and load your legs and he's loading both how we do that we shift our weight back you don't have to have a double tap like Rafi but you do have to have a weight shift. Then we need to get to this position every time, and we all need to know where that position is for each one of us. All hitters are different, but all of us have a launching position. And no matter how you stand or hold your hands or your feet or, or however, you have to get to your launching position in time for, before every swing. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to use your hands and your swing will not take over. If you are late getting to this position, you will end up jumping, then you will end up over swinging, cutting under the ball, and not a lot of good things happen. But when you can get to this position and repeat good mechanics, then the swing just happens and takes care of itself. But when you're not getting in a good position, it's really hard to repeat good mechanics. So again, we got him in the good aggressive launching position those first four inches of his swing go right down to the ball front side locks back side drives two and through with my head down look at his head his head is not moving from that position right there bam again upper deck shot in Oklahoma City those of you who've been to Bricktown know that that's not an easy place to hit him and he was peppering up there one after another that day uh, firm front side block and drive textbook major league above average major league swing right there ladies and gentlemen now we're going to show these to you in fast motion let you take a look at what major league bat speed looks like uh, a little bit quicker okay and these are in full speed back boom quick hands good rhythm good timing repeats the good mechanics quick hands back Oof. those hands are going so quick we're on digital video feeds and we can break down frame by frame there's Javi Lopez who's on the back side of this video we're breaking them down frame by frame we can barely hear we can barely see uh, the back go through the zone but again one of the best hitters of all time uh, tremendous mechanics if you look at major league hitters uh, all of them are different all of them stand differently hold their hands differently have different facial hair uh, but when it comes to swinging the bat, all of them load. All of them have a weight shift back and a weight shift forward. Some is greater than others. All of them get into a very good athletic, aggressive position before they hit. That's a standard. All of them have a, f a first move down to the ball. The first four inches is right down to the ball. All of them block their front side off and drive their back side through. 
All of them have a quiet head that stays behind the ball, and all of them get good extension. Uh, not all of them have their back foot come off the ground, but a good majority do when they swing. And all of them finish through the ball and try to stay behind the ball. Uh, the, those, those characteristics are very common in major league hitters, and those of you who aspire to play in the major leagues or college or even be a successful high school hitter, uh, hopefully some of these little tips have helped you. So again, Rafael Palmero, uh, Swing Analysis by Baseball Pros. I'm Andy Barquette. Thank you for watching today, and uh, we'll see you down the road.